Detroit City Council has unanimously approved an ordinance that would take guns away from domestic abusers. It's named after Detroit Police Sergeant Elaine Williams, who was shot and killed in her home, police say by her live-in partner. Jason Colthorpe, live tonight. I'd imagine Sergeant Williams' family was very happy to hear this, Jason. Boy, her mom certainly was, Kim. And this, this ordinance, by the way, mirrors a national law, but it's not just symbolic. Uh, council says this has teeth because it gives city attorneys the power to prosecute in these cases. And uh, when her mom learned of this ordinance, it moved her to tears. I miss her dearly. Christine Bogoski counseled her daughter Elaine Williams many times during her relationship with Eddie Johnson that she says was abusive. Felt like I should have did more. Maybe went to her house and stayed or something with her, you know, um, but it hurts terribly. The kids have lived with Christine over a very tough two years. The depression that they went through and getting them counseling and Amari seeing a lot of what his dad did and saying how he hit her in the nose, you know, and, and, and all that like stuff. Shot. Yeah, see, he, he was there when he did it. Elaine Williams was a wonderful woman and um, she's missed by so many people. Dr. LaDonna Combs has done the research on domestic violence. Between 2019 and 2020, Domestic violence rose 66%, um, and th those were DV homicides. 85% of that number were due to gun violence in Detroit. She says anything that offers law enforcement more help can reduce those numbers. And for Christine, doing it in her daughter's name is everything. I cried and I cried happy tears um, because it really made me feel good. Just them doing that and having my daughter's name out there because I will never let her be forgotten. Yeah, the other statistic that's pretty staggering in this in 2020, there were 23 domestic violence murders in Detroit alone. By the way, DPD hosting a walk this Friday in Sergeant Elaine Williams memory. So she is certainly not going to be forgotten. We're live downtown tonight. Jason Coulthorpe, Local 4. Okay, Jason, thanks.